I want to welcome you to today's Collaborate Live with financial planner Jordan Neifeld. My collaborative team's Collaborate Live provides digestible content to both professionals and the public on a variety of topics relating to the collaborative process. Episodes consist of topics driven by our followers and our members. Our topics range from ethical considerations, best practices, problem solving, marketing, specialized practices and subjects relating to the collaborative practice, practice tools, and so much more. Collaborate Live provides thought-provoking conversation and educational information about the collaborative process. Today, we have Jordan Neifeld, a certified financial planner and CPA at Raymond James. Jordan's process is simply different than all the rest. Jordan and his team have helped individuals, divorcees, and businesses locally and nationally pursue their financial goals with thoughtful, tax-sensitive investment guidance and life goal planning. Jordan is focused with the highest standards to help you achieve your greatest objectives with simplicity, transparency, and disciplined process to measure your progress. Jordan's guidance is tailored to support your current lifestyle, life after separation, business objectives, retirement income needs, tax effectiveness, and legacy goals while making you feel comfortable every step of the way. His passion is fueled by knowing he makes a positive difference in the lives of the families and organizations with whom he serves. Welcome, Jordan. Thank you. Good That's to great. see you. Great to see you as well. Been a while since we've worked together. Sure has, but uh, it's very nice to see you via Zoom and everyone else who's watching today. Jordan, tell us how the financial planner functions differently in the collaborative process than the financial neutral. Sure. So high level, the certified financial planner really is a overall team member in the process. That's the way I like to uh, title the, um, the advisor in the group. Our role is really simply to come in and to help bring value to the collaborative process as a whole, to help both the professionals in their goals of helping to achieve um, and really hit the, the main objectives for the client, which is to help get this um, process tightened up and ready to go so that both clients can you know, pursue their overall objectives outside when separation is complete. And you know they're really hitting everything that they want to do. While we're in the collaborative process, you are actually not a paid professional within the process. Is that right? Right. This is a fully complementary service that we bring to the overall, um, you know, team, helping uh, both the neutrals, the attorneys, and the clients really help. You know, uh, again, uh, define their overall objectives and help them um, achieve their overall goal. So by way of example, you came in on a case that Ed Sachs and I, the president of my collaborative team that we were working on, um, I was representing the wife. Tell us a little bit about what role you played in that case to help us get it settled. Sure, so this individual um, was coming out of a 20 some year marriage and um, was looking to, and had a lot of questions uh, that needed to be answered including what life would look like when you know the next stage of her life began outside of marriage how was she going to live out her objectives what were her objectives you know she she wanted to help define what her good life looked like right was it continuing to stay in the home was it continuing to travel how many times a year did she want to travel what were her cash flow needs budgeting needs, etc. So my role was to come in and to help facilitate um, with the attorneys, with the financial neutral, and to help really build out a life goal oriented plan for this client so that they knew upon equitable, equitable distribution of the assets and any potential alimony or whatnot that was involved, that this client knew that their goals were going to be met. Now she was under a lot of emotional um, stress during this time 
which is a very common you know, feeling. So much uncertainty was in the air. And again, through many conversations and educating the client through the process and just being a total team member, a total value added to the process, um, I was able to really help bring a lot of confidence to her, help identify her needs, wants, and wishes. And now she is, you know, thriving in the next chapter of her life. And you actually educated me as well, because we were able to understand what her needs were in terms of alimony based on the projections that you provided to me. Correct. Those financial um, you know, numbers, which are brought to the table, really need to be included in the projection of the financial plan as a whole, right? including inflationary concerns and growth expectations and you know, taxable events, et cetera. So once we're, you know, I was able to kind of bring that to the table, incorporate that into the plan through the ongoing process as a team member, as someone who's just totally, fully committed to helping, you know, the case get to a resolved, comfortable position for all parties involved. Um, you know, that really helps bring added value to the attorneys and the financial neutral, and of course, the client in the end, so that you know, they have a clear, comfortable sense of here's what I'm going to be getting, here's how it's going to fit into my overall goals, and I feel comfortable moving on from this separation at, that, at this time so that I can, you know, go ahead and pursue exactly what I'm trying to do now the second chapter of my life. And I think because she was so comfortable with the projections and the way that you assisted us in resolving the case, you ended up keeping her as a client after the process. Yeah, and that's my um, my ultimate goal, obviously, is to try to bring as much value to the client as possible, to the attorneys, to the financial neutral, to the, to the process as a whole. And my hope is that the client will see the care, the commitment, um, the diligence that I bring to um, them, and uh, that they'll hire me to help them manage their portfolio, manage their cash flow objectives and needs, and uh, you know, be there with them as they go through their journey. And that includes helping not only with their investment portfolio or their traditional retirement planning, but helping them answer questions like, um, you know, do I need to uh, sell my house or should I rent, right? Am I how many trips a year am I able to take? I was used to going on three trips a year. Can I continue to do that? What does my medical coverage look like? Right? Um, who's going to take care of me later on? Am I going to have enough funding there to help me in that capacity? What does a proper portfolio look like? Do I have... And how much can I help my kids if they need it? Well, that's what I was going to say. Um, you know, if my children still may need to go to college, are we preparing all the tax efficient vehicles for that? Um, am I setting aside money for their potential weddings that I want to give them later on, right? Um, so, so many questions that need to be brought up. And this is really a time that is the first time when this individual can really sit down and think about themselves outside of a particular marriage. Um, and say, okay, now I need to really focus on what I want and what I need to do, right? And what my life looks like, um, you know, in the second chapter of my life, in this next chapter. So it's a very important, um, I would say, uh, process that these individuals need to go through um, and really is super beneficial because now they're getting that one-on-one -on -one attention to really ask all about themselves. And of course we know once the separation is complete and once the attorneys complete their role and once the financial completes their role, the client is set with their assets and liabilities and income and expenses, whatever it has been agreed to with alimony and child support, equitable, equitable distribution, et cetera. But now life's starts 
right? Now it's okay. I need to make sure this is all going to last me and this is going to really set me for the rest of my life, which may be 20, 30, 40, 50 years, whatever it is. Right. So they have someone in their corner walking them through and educating them and explaining to them, here's why, you know, we may want to consider doing this. Here's why we may want to consider doing this. And you take a very tax efficient and cost, you know, effective approach to all the different solutions that may, um, you know, be available in the investment universe. Um, and for example, this client that we work together on, I mean, I'm happy to report that she's thriving. I mean, she is, she has been able to travel and, 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 and have a lot of the things that she's always wanted to do, you know, be refocused. And, you know, she calls me and she'll say, Hey, I just did this, this, you know, so it brings me a lot of joy because I know where we started and all the uncertainty and anxiety that was, of course. Right. And, and it helped us get the case settled because it helped us again, get to an alimony number that was very different from what she had in her head as, as what her need was. And that's the um, biggest, and I will just say that's the biggest value to the professional group that I bring. My role is to help bring clarity and a settlement to the table, right? So if I can show the parties, one party is accepting the arrangement, let's say, and the other party is hesitant. And I can show the other party, hey, look, we get this alimony, we get this settlement, whatever it is. Here are your goals that we discussed, right? Here are all the things that we said we, you wanted to do and you wanted to achieve. You wanted to travel here, you wanted to get the second home, you wanted whatever it, whatever it was. You wanted to make sure that you had money for the kids in college and you wanted to make sure you had live in health when you were 80 plus years old, whatever it is. Here's the map, here it is. We're gonna be able to do that. It's all here. I'm very confident when we call, we wanna put our clients in a confident zone, right. projecting far ahead, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ahead with inflation, with all the uncertainty that markets will bring. But I can you know, really pull forward a lot of the projections and say, if we start with this and if we live this type of way, and we incorporate all the uncertainties that we know will happen, the good markets, the down markets, the markets in between, we're gonna get you to where you wanna go. So that I think really helped the client that we were working with, helped her kind of give her the confidence to say, I'm ready to, I'm ready to sign and move forward and right. get this life going. Right. And that's, that brought me a lot, of, a lot of joy. It brought us all joy. Thank you. Um, on a slightly different subject, is the financial planner and the collaborative process held to the same standards and ethics that the rest of the professional team is held to? Absolutely. Um, first and foremost, I'm governed by the standards of being a certified public accountant, certified financial planner, of course, all the standards of working for a top class firm like Raymond James, I'm, I'm truly a fiduciary in nature. Everything I do is for the client and is always in the best interest of the client. So uh, and you're, you're also collaboratively trained, right? You went through the introductory training. Had full um, training through the collaborative process, of course, I went through um, many different um, you know, training sessions or whatnot. I've been mentored by some of the, the best collaboratively trained leaders in our um, South Florida groups. And um, working through the highest level of fiduciary care and uh, ethics and honorable um, you know, ethics is primary. You know, it starts starts there. So I go to work every day with the agenda of what is my client's agenda and how can we do it and get get it done in the most cost effective, tax efficient way possible. And you know, people have to understand. Um, you know, in the investment universe, there are all different types of investment solutions. 
right? We know the traditional assets of stocks, bonds, cash. There are um, insurance opportunities. There are structured notes and products. There's preferred. There's so many different things. And the reality is that sometimes there are strategies that are better than others, right? We know that certain investment um, products uh, are more effective than others and less costly than others and produce better, right? And, um, and the, the, the point is, is that there's not always one way to be a stock. Right. Right? And my role is to bring the, the different options to the table and walk the individual through, you know, germane to the goals that they have and, and have in place. Right? And that's why it's, it's really goals-based planning. What are our goals? How are we gonna get it done? And we utilize the financial markets and all the different financial instruments that are available to us, which are best, to ensure that we're getting it done. Uh, and, and so, just what, one other point, you're, you're also a member of the Collaborative Family Law Institute in Miami, you're a member of my collaborative team, so you're fully invested as a financial planner in the collaborative process. No question. Um, I continue to participate on a monthly basis. I continue to write articles and educate our other team members. I've participated with you and some other members in a special needs. Uh, which is gonna be my last closeout question. Right, which we'll talk about in a second. So, you know, the way I work is to build significant relationships with professionals, bring as much value to the table as I possibly can, do it with an integrity uh, and kindness um, and care to let everyone know whether it's the attorneys, the financial neutral, the trust and estate professionals, and of course, most importantly, the client that they have someone in their corner helping them get them to where they want to go. You know, and it's important to understand as uh, one of my mentors would say is that the role of a certified financial planner is never to interrupt the process, right? You never want to be viewed as a shadow person or somebody who's, you know, moving the needle in a way where it's not bringing to the spirit of collaboration. So the role that I am assigned to is to help all parties um, bring that type of collaboration in the event of and, and hope that it will help get the parties to agreement. And once that agreement's in place, now as life continues to go, I'm here to help that individual go on. So it actually, as an attorney or financial neutral, I mean, working with someone like myself, it should bring a lot of confidence to the team because it's not like we're going to get this done and then, oh, see you later. I hope it works out. No, I'm, I'm vested in this thing. I'm giving up, you know, I'm, I'm part of this person's life and, and, it, and it's, it should bring a lot of confidence to the team to know that this person is going to be very well taken care of long into the future. Good, thank you. And and that's all true. I can vouch for everything you just said. Uh, let's just close out quickly because you and I did work on a very significant program for families with children with special needs regarding your involvement with special needs trusts as a financial planner. Yes, um, well, first and foremost, uh, it's a great honor of mine to be um, the acting treasurer of a very special uh, school here in Miami. It's called Kesher, and uh, it's a special needs based program for kids. And uh, my role with what we were talking about was um, really to bring education to um, the profession, collaborative professional uh, groups 
and our families that may have children with special needs and to let them know that there are certain uh, strategies that they can consider as it pertains to some of their income needs and planning objectives to ensure that their child is going to live the best possible life that they can live. And uh, it was a great honor to present that presentation with you. And I hope that, you know, if there are families out there that, or attorneys out there that are dealing with um, these families that have children with special needs, that they know that there are specialized individuals to help them through managing the case. And, um, and we are here to, to guide them and to you know, bring as much value to the table as possible because they too deserve to live a phenomenal uh, loving life. And um, there are programs out there and financial planning strategies available for them that they can take advantage of, um, which will bring a lot of relief to the family and confidence to the family to know that their loved one, even if they are not still around, will be living a very healthy, happy life. Well, we'll have to do another Collaborate Live on that subject because you and I have presented on it for 90 minutes for close to two hours. It, it's a topic unto itself. Jordan, it was such a pleasure getting to interview you and see you today. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to be a guest on Collaborate Live, please email us at info at mycollaborativeteam.com or reach out to us on social media. It's so good to see you and thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Be well.